Resignation of seven South African Airways board members and its chairwoman Cheryl Carolis raised a lot of questions about the airline's stability. This follows a decision by the Public Enterprises Minister Malusi Gagawa to cancel SAA's annual general meeting last week. We spoke to the minister and found out more about all that's going on. I don't know. They did not um, afford me the courtesy of a prior information before they resigned, so I only know about their resignations from uh, what I first learned from the media. But the resignations happening as they did two weeks before uh, the AGM uh, don't spell out a crisis. Fortunately, I had already um, obtained cabinet approval for the rotation of exactly the members who have resigned. Is there a divide between the different shareholders? Not really. Um, the, the resignations happen in the wake of um, first a leakage about the shareholders' intention to rotate the board. Secondly, in the wake of um, the media reporting about the letter I had written to parliament which in my understanding is public information, requesting the postponement of the AGM to the 15th of August, informing parliament that I request a delay in submitting the annual report of SAA as I'm required by the law, because the AGM has been postponed to the 15th of August. The board members apparently allege that um, they've resigned because they have not received uh, shareholder support which in my view is total hogwash because the shareholder has provided SAA with all the support that the airline requires even to an extent of entertaining a discussion about the government guarantee despite the fact that about two years ago, SAA received a huge guarantee from government. We need to come up with a long-term vision and strategy that ensures that the airline breaks even, it becomes financially viable, it's able to uh, travel to areas which are going to bring it the revenue, the revenues required for it to become a sustainable airline. So there, 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 there isn't really um, a point where we would say we have disagreed so fundamentally that the board had to take the drastic step to resign. The fact of the matter is that the people who have resigned were going to be rotated, that there was a leakage, um, and I was intending, I had met with the chair of the board, I spoke to her last week Friday, I met with her um, to the, um, on, on Tuesday, and discussed these issues with her, allayed her fears and showed, uh, assured her that um, they have our full respect and we, 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 we are concerned about their reputation. I was intending to meet with the outgoing board to offer to them my apologies, even though I don't know where the leakage had come from, but I was going to offer them my apologies because I think they had done a sterling job um, for, for, for the country and the airline. But they've taken the drastic step to resign, which I thought was melodramatic. Will you be meeting with the Treasury to discuss getting financial assistance before the AGM meeting in two weeks' time? We are. Not, we, we don't only intend meeting with the Treasury. We are in discussions with the Treasury about the uh, uh, guarantee uh, support for SAA. And we, we are going to take our decision soon which we will announce either before the AGM or at the AGM itself. But certainly we are in discussion with the National Treasury because um, we believe that SAA um, needs the support. Is this the reason the AGM was postponed? We needed to finalize our discussions with National Treasury before the annual uh, financial statements were, were for, for the airline were finalized. Many airlines all the airlines have gone to their shareholders and requested assistance uh, all over the world. Some of the privately owned airlines have had to be shut down. We couldn't afford that step here in South Africa. 
and and we had to find a mechanism to resolve this issue before the AGM. What is the way forward from here? We've appointed a new board. There is a new chairperson. Life goes on at SAA. We final we are going to finalize secondly our uh, discussions with the National Treasury, and the AGM is going to proceed on the fifteenth of October. Um, I, I, I am most certain about that. There will be no further postponement um, from that date and we are ready to go towards the AGM.